Let me solve a half projectile question using this approach now. So the question you can see on the screen has got a ball thrown horizontally at 10 meter per second from a height of 10 meters. The question is how far from this point of throwing will the ball land when it hits the ground? So how do you do it? There's also nothing but two motion, right? A horizontal motion and a vertical motion. It's given that along the horizontal direction, the speed is 10 meter per second. There's no acceleration. So if I take the time, it hits the ground as t seconds. The distance from the point where it is projected on the horizontal direction, x will be equal to 10 into t. What about the what about the vertical distance? It's already given as 10 meters, right? So 10 meters will be equal to half into g into t square. G is 10 meter per second, so that's 5t square. So t will be 10 by 5 root of that, which is root 2. So the ball takes root 2 seconds to hit the ground. So what will be the distance at the at the point where it hits the ground will be nothing but root 2 into 10, that's 10 root 2 meters. Very simple. On similar lines, if we get a projectile on an inclined plane, how do we solve it? Use the exact same method. The only difference being, instead of using horizontal axis and vertical axis, use an axis along the inclined plane and perpendicular to the inclined plane. Then do the same thing. Write the equations of motion for these two axes, solve the equation and get your answer. Very simple. So complex questions also becomes easy when the crux of the concept is understood properly. And this is how you tackle any question, a JE question, and make it doable in 30 seconds.